it's a really good thing uh, because finally we're actually getting some truth telling. And sometimes in the past years, uh, year or so, it's been really hard to uh, say some plain truths. Uh, uh, careers have been ended. So this is good news. We're talking about a problem. But, uh, and we're also talking about putting a subway close to the, the correct place in the downtown core, in dense urban environments, as opposed to subways to sprawl. But I do feel that we need to address uh, uh, the problems a little bit more carefully and clearly, and a bit more slowly. I appreciate Councillor Ogamari wondering about just what exactly does uh, this entail in terms of overall support, because I think uh, we have put subways in the wrong place, therefore hasten slowly. Um, and if it's, everything is so bad, why not call for a development freeze, please? No more, you know, stop, stop the growth. Uh, also, please consider uh, load shedding as a means of expanding your transit. Uh, but before that, um, doing a, I, I fail to see how, how putting a, a DRL up to the, the Danforth actually helps the young line in the first phase. Uh, with Maine and Danforth or wherever it is, you know, if the problem is on Young, then I just don't see how that's good value to actually do a mere leg of it up to the Danforth. It should be a longer way. Uh, load shedding as a trans transit holding mechanism, starting with Bloor and, of course, the Danforth, and why not? Uh, a bike lane along Bloor and Danforth, uh, you can repaint the road for $500,000, another $500,000 study. Uh, therefore, you've expanded the subway, relieved the congestion there for about a million bucks. To me, that's a real bargain. Now, bikes don't work for everybody, but uh, Councillor Beer Maker knows that you can actually do a fair amount of long distance uh, bike commuting. And it isn't for everybody, but it is enough for a number of people. And you can uh, actually shed, I think, a certain percentage of your load, at least on Bloor Danforth, and therefore Bloor Young. So I think you need to, as a transit commission, uh, ask to have that IDI study reinstated for near $500,000 to actually study how to get uh, some transit relief along the Danforth. I think it's a very simple, easy win. Uh, and uh, just a red flag about uh, uh, Bloor being rebuilt uh, between uh, Bathurst and Lansdowne next, uh, next year. Um, it's a very narrow, tight, dangerous portion for uh, cyclists. Uh, you've known about the hazards. Uh, this is Bloor up here, right there. It's a really dangerous spot. That's 1983 stats. Over here, you can see fresher stats. The main streets are really hazardous for, for bikes. So again, load shedding away from the transit onto bikes and yet your streetcar tracks inhibit uh, doing uh, easy safety measures on any of the other core streets. Blue Ridge Airport has no streetcar tracks. Uh, so given the liabilities that you face uh, from the hazards to cyclists uh, from the streetcar tracks recently reported on, I think you know, there's even more reason to get behind Blue Ridge Airport. So with this rebuilding of Bloor uh, next year, we need to make sure that there's actually bike safety involved. Uh, and that means actually perhaps overriding the local councillor, especially councillor Bylaw. Like you can't imagine uh, building a streetcar network and having it stop in the middle of a ward or you know, for a ward where the councillor doesn't want to have a streetcar track. And yet that's what we do with our bicycle not work. You know, oh, the councillor doesn't like it, we won't put it in. Uh, and collectively, we are removing bike lanes, the Jarvis Lane, for instance. Some of you councillors voted to remove that, even though it wasn't in the right place. But uh, I know you don't want to hear too much about bike lanes, but uh, it is a real option that isn't in the program. So you need to have silver uh, bike shop, not silver bullets. Uh, if the Young Line is really the, uh, the problem, the Spadina Line is very underused. What are you actually doing to shift load over to use the underused uh, Spadina uh, portion of it? You have the, uh, the rail tracks off the east that's uh, starting to have the GO uh, uh, trains on it. To the, and so why not really push to have the GO system expanded? Uh, we're getting GO buses on the Don Valley. That's great. Maybe that's the, the way to actually provide a lot of relief. And say, for instance, the, uh, the express buses on Mount Pleasant from Lawrence to St. Clair to Bloor to King Street. Why not explore that one? Uh, if we have issues with the lower core, uh, and I think we do in the shoulder area, uh, this example, uh, for instance, uh, well, uh, you can see how the old uh, uh, 1949 or 46 plan actually had this leg going up to the northwest. We also had this uh, this thing uh, here, the Queen Street subway and the game legs. 
uh, off the, uh, to the east. Uh, if we do have problems in the core, it isn't just the, uh, the, the subways that are having issues. You may remember I had a real concern about the front street extension and was urging a front street transit way instead. I think, in fact, that's part of the silver buckshot that you need to be looking at rather than this one big silver uh, bullet. Uh, and I think there's a way of getting surface transit that is actually probably far cheaper than this mega billion dollar project that you don't actually have the money for. Uh, so quite honestly, you, you've got to actually work on that a lot more. King Street right away, with enforcement this time. What about many go trains from uh, Mimico to Maine every 15 minutes? And again, it's a problem of, of not having the bureaucracies uh, uh, interplaying well enough. Uh, the airport line, I think, is a tragic waste of a good corridor. Uh, it should really be effective. You should actually ask the province to stop work on that and convert it to something that actually serves the public. Curative uh, about capacity of a subway for 1% of the cost by having busways and the political will to clear the cars off the road. Lots of things that need to be done. I'm not sure that this DRL, even though it's great that you're talking sensible subways, for the most part, they're sensible. But the DRL as proposed, well, we'll get there, but the smaller things first, please. Great, thank you very much. Are there any questions of the deputy? Seeing none, thank you very much for attending. Remember to strap hangers if you have a ready to good look. Thank you, and members.